Dale has told us horror stories of tents flying off across the ice. This is easily the most difficult diving I've ever done. The quest to film ancient and otherworldly life forms on our planet took the team to Lake Untersea, the most remote dive location on Earth. Lake Untersea is one of the largest freshwater lakes in eastern Antarctica. The ice that covers its surface never melts. After weeks of trouble just getting to the research base, the team continues for another 140 kilometers, transporting almost a ton of specialist equipment. More humans have touched down on the surface of the moon than have dived in this lake. The first task is to set up camp, and the only place for that is on the frozen surface of the lake. So what we're doing now is putting the tents up and then weighting them down because the wind can kick up within two minutes, no notice, 100 miles an hour, and literally blow the camp down. So we can't move without securing everything. Beneath three meters of solid ice, Lake Untersea is home to living giant stromatolites. A life form so hardy, it can exist in even the most extreme conditions. They have survived freezing temperatures here for thousands of years. This is the only place on the planet where we have the formation of these large conical stromatolites growing to the extent that they do. This is what makes this lake just so wonderful to study. After three days of drilling, the hole is wide enough for the divers. Camera operators Justin and Hugh suit up for their dive in some of the most dangerous waters in the world. With everything in place, the team get ready to dive. Justin and Hugh have special rebreather apparatus to allow them to stay under for longer. Their kit is checked and double-checked, as defective equipment could prove fatal. Finally, they're ready. You ready, Justin? I'm very ready. I've never been so excited to get into really cold water. The water is just above freezing. The divers are expected to be underwater for 90 minutes. Okay, let's get this camera on it. But just minutes into the dive, Justin's breather gear develops a fault. Three days from civilization and help, they need to get him out fast. A leak can mix with the equipment and create a liquid that could burn Justin's mouth and lungs. The team on the surface can do nothing except remain as calm as possible and help lead Justin back to the hole in the ice. The longer Justin is under, the higher his chances of severe injury. Justin's been lucky. He aborted the dive in good time, but they won't be able to dive again today. It was totally fine, it was totally fine, and then when we started to descend, water came forward into my inhale, and it was spicy, chemically water. Yeah. It's been a disappointing day, but their troubles are far from over. As the wind picks up, it heralds a major Antarctic storm. 
The team are confined to their tents and the storm rages into the following day for a full 24 hours. Dale has told us horror stories of tents flying off across the ice. It's going to be a really long night. When the weather clears the next day, the team need to fix the damage. Our dive hole's filled with snow. <laughs> and I gotta dig it out. <laughs> Finally, conditions are perfect. Justin's gear has been repaired and it's time for another attempt. What they finally see below is beyond their wildest imagination. Giant stromatolites. Ancient living organisms that have taken thousands of years to grow. They first appeared closer in time to the formation of Earth three and a half billion years ago than the present day. Living fossils thriving in one of the world's most extreme locations. It feels like you're entering a portal to a different world when you go through that hole in the ice. And then you get down there and it looks like something you've never seen in your entire life. Scientists hope that studying these giant stromatolites in such a hostile environment will help us understand if there could be life on icy worlds beyond our own. This lake is really, really unique. So it's important that we understand what's in the lake right now. So when we go to other places outside of our own planet, it will also help prod those questions as to looking for life that we don't know about. This small hole in the ice of Lake Untersea could prove to be a window into undiscovered secrets on other planets.